What is up, YouTube Knife Community? How you guys doing today? We're back today uh, on this beautiful day. Um, it's a little bit chilly in Virginia, but uh, we can suffer through that. Uh, brought y'all guys out here in the woods today. I wanted to show you uh, some of the knives that that I enjoy the most. It's nothing fancy, nothing spectacular. It's just knives that I enjoy to use. And uh, I'm going to show... Uh, I'm going to show you and tell you where you can get them and tell you what they cost. So, uh, yeah, for starters, I'm going to start off with this one right here. This one is a, uh, this one is a spoon carving knife made by Mora. They call it a hook knife, and the part number is 164. It's for digging out your bowls on your spoons. So these knives uh, are carving, pretty much carving knives, and then I've got a bushcraft knife I want to show you guys. But uh, this thing works like a charm. Uh, you can you can dig a pretty deep bowl with this and a spoon, just whatever you want, but. It's comfortable because it's got the full size more handle and it's a uh, it's flat on the inside so all you got to do is run a ceramic rod inside there and knock off like any burr or anything that you get in there and then you can put the outside the outside edge right there you can put it on diamond stone or or whatever you want just keep it stropped up however you want to take care of it but uh yeah that's a nice little knife for what it does so that's the 164 hook knife and then this one is the number 120 this is a uh another just small carving knife for your detailed work getting into cracks and such again it has the full handle so it's comfortable to use both of these are uh, high carbon steel, the carbon more steel. So it, it takes the edge pretty good and it lasts for a while. This is a, a true Scandi grind on this one. Small blade, easy to use. Love it, it's perfect. And then this other one is the uh, more uh, classic number one. It's just a little bit small or a little bit larger uh scandy grind knife but it's still good for doing detailed work and stuff uh you know i rough it out with this one and then get that other small one for the fine details the bad thing about the uh the spoon carver knife is it don't come with a sheath but you can fancy something and this this sheath right here it's atrocious it's ugly it's horrible but i wanted to keep these two knives together so i could throw them in a bag together this bottom sheath is the uh, factory sheath for this knife, I think. And then this is a factory sheath for a more Eldry that I shoved that down in because that, that two-piece set, the spoon carving set, don't come with any kind of a sheath. So I, I came up with this. Yeah, it's atrocious, but it works. So uh, the, the hook knife, and the small carving knife, you can get these two at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Shout out Smoky Mountain Knife Works. You can get them in a set together. It's the 164 hook knife and the 120 carving knife. You can get both of them together for 50 bucks at Smoky Mountain. And then uh, this more uh, basic number one, you can buy it pretty much anywhere for about 15 bucks. And uh, just for uh, giggles, I'd like to show a couple of these spoons that I've carved. Here's the first one. This is one that I eat with a lot. Uh, but this is the kind of stuff you can do with these with these knives. Uh, I carved it out the way I wanted it so it fit my hand just right. And then I burned, uh, I just burned it a little bit and I carved in some etchings. There's an eagle there, and then there's some like Native American things on there, fire and 
mountains and such. So there's one, it stays in my, uh, my bushcraft bag. And then this is more like a serving spoon I made, big deep spoon that you can uh, dip out with if you got more than one person. I got some etchings on it too, or not etchings, carvings on it too. And I did the same, I burned the uh, grain and all that stuff and then I soak them in mineral oil so they'll, uh, so they'll stay preserved for a while. So there's that. Then just real quick. Here's a little piece of gear that I'd like to show you guys. Everybody wants to see gear, so I'll show it to you. This right here is made by Light My Fire. They come in a four pack. I put them in my bushcraft bag and carry them with me wherever I go. You take this little cap off right here and it is a meat hook and then so you take a stick let me make sure i'm in frame take a stick and you just shove this up on the end of it like that and then obviously that top side supposed to be, you just need to carve your stick to where it'll stay like that but that's a quick fix for a little meat hook in the woods and you can have it as long as you want it so you can get out of the fire or you can have it as short as you want it or whatever. Again, they're made by Light My Fire. I picked them up at, uh, I can't remember. I know they're online. There's the Light My Fire logo. Pretty good product. It works good. I've used them a lot. I think I've wore out two or three and still got a four pack. Uh, very well worth the money that you spend. <laughs> and then while we're talking about carving, I want to hit on this real quick. If you're going to get into carving, I suggest you get you a little small hatchet. And this is a pretty small one. It might look big on screen right now, but I think it's one and a quarter pounds or something like that. And this is an old... Uh, boy scouts of america hatchet that i kind of redid and then my buddy micah from black bear custom kydex this is not leather this is kydex he put kydex on there and laced up and then he made me a he made me a sheath for it i can rock it on my it's rock it's riding on molly's so i can rock it on my backpack but yeah, it's it's a pretty small hatchet and it's just about perfect for carving. You don't want anything heavy because you'll be making a lot of strokes with that. So there's that. Last but not least, I want to show this off. Everybody asks me all the time, what's my favorite bushcraft knife? And this is it. This is a Spyderco bushcraft knife made in Taiwan. This again is a custom Kydex sheath from Micah at Black Bear Custom Kydex. It has a uh, Exotac fire steel. In my opinion, shoot, my tech lock's in the way. My opinion is Exotac makes the best compact fire starters on the market. You can untwist this cap right here, and it's got a, a capsule you can store your tender in. It's pretty neat. And then uh, also on the back side of this sheath right there, there is a, a P38 military-style can opener in case you forgot to buy the uh, pop top and you can still eat your beans. Uh, so there's that and then at the time I don't know why but I thought this little hook was cool saw it on Amazon so I had him add that on there uh, if I could go back I'd probably have a little flashlight attached there which I could always have him modify it so there's that sheath with the big thick heavy duty uh, leather dangler that he puts on riding on a tech lock Right now it's canned for cross draw, 
So I wear it on my, I wear it like this on my left side, cross draw like that. Speaking of the knife though, look at those, look at these handles. Well, focus, there we go. These handles are absolutely sick. So comfortable, perfect contour. This contour right here keeps you from sliding up on the blade. And when you got that thing in your hand, you're locked down. It's made out of 01 tool steel, smooth G10, brass pins. Uh, it's got a good, generous lanyard hole in the perfect position. It's a 4.1 inch blade, eight inches overall. Uh, like I said, it's 01. I have had this one rock weld and it rock weld at 60, which is awesome for 01 especially from a production company. So, uh, this knife, let's see. I'm not in my normal habitat, so I don't have my baton or the wood I usually use, but we'll see what we can do with what we got. I'd say this baton will probably break. This knife works amazingly, and I keep it at a true Scandi grind. A lot of people will uh, put micro bevels on a Scandi. I never put a micro bevel on a Scandi. I keep a true zero Scandi grind. But uh, this knife is, just does great work. The spine on it. The spine on this knife is is pretty amazing. It does you can really get fluff or whatever you want to get with it. It'll do your uh, your carving task, your feather sticks. If I can keep it on there. Anyway, does good curls. Excellent knife. Love it. Love it. So, yeah, there's all that. Here's something I want to share, too. Just got this. Actually, yeah, never mind, wrong pocket. Just got this in the mail. Yeah, boy. 8010. This thing will be tested very soon. Very soon. I'm going to get the honeymoon over and we'll carry it for a few days. And then we'll do some testing on it. Also, I just got this knife. This is a real steel H9 Taken. T-A-K-I-N. In 14C28N. Pretty good hefty blade stock pretty good stock uh, thumb disc deployment liner lock everything checks out centered smooth action good to go but pretty soon we'll have tests up on this and I'll be testing the real steel uh, but I guess for today that's about it I just wanted to bring y'all out here and get a video in for this weekend I uh, want to say thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you for liking this video if you haven't already. Uh, I appreciate you. Please come back for the next one and uh, see you then. God bless.